So we're here in um, CT scan of room one at the Mueller Hospital, King Edward Hospital, and we've got the radiation team and myself, and this is the sim CT simulation process. So we're utilising the equipment that's already here in the hospital. Um, but to have radiation, you need to have a CT scan beforehand, an extra CT scan, so that we can design the actual radiation. And this is what the team are doing at the moment. They're preparing the patient in a position in which they have their treatment, so that we can get images to allow us to design the radiation. And then we use those images, they get sent down the road to Community Council Health, where the treatment machine is. They also get sent over to Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And as a big team together, we then all design the radiation. So we're working together in collaboration between the hospital, between Community Council Health, and, to, and with Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston to make sure that patients can have the best care possible while utilising the resources that we already have. So this is an upgrade, Dr. Foscare. Can you tell us exactly what what this machine is doing? Um, yeah. Did we have to get extra equipment to be able to do this? So yes, this. Um, Sorry, is it your stuff? Yep. Can you take get back in. So yes, this CT scanner itself is just under two years old. Um, so it's a very modern and good CT scanner. But for the radiation, you need to have extra information. So you need to know exactly where the patient is in, in regards to the CT scanner. So we've got the extra um, small pieces you can see around, which are lasers. So they're lasers so that we know exactly where the patient is. And then the equipment that the patient is lying on is the same equipment they'd be using when they're actually having the treatment. So you can make sure the patient's in exactly the same position. And then behind the windows, over there, there's a lot more software so that the images can be manipulated and be used to design radiation.